Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and today we're taking a look at the Flow Integrated Drain Down System. Anytime you're using an RV, camper, uh, boat, any system that has an onboard water system, you'll know that you need to drain that out relatively frequently, especially to winterize for storage during winter. This is going to allow us to do that really quickly and easily with pressurizing the system with air to flush out all of our outlets. So we can just quickly open up each one of those one by one and flush them out. That way we don't have to use any kind of antifreeze to protect our system during the winter. It's going to help to maintain a better overall taste for our water so you can actually drink from that without it tasting weird and it also helps to keep the whole system clean by preventing any kind of mold or mildew buildup. So you can flush the system really often so that you can keep everything nice and clean, pretty much drain it as often as you want and keep those lines free and clear of any issues. It comes with everything you see here laid out on the table. This is going to use a 12 volt DC system. So we have our 12 volt connector to go into that 12 volt DC outlet. It also comes with a switch to go in line with that. This is optional to go along our main bulk wire. You can also turn the system on and off actually on the top of it. But if you wanna mount this in a little trickier to reach location, then you can use this little switch and mount that somewhere along this line. It's just gonna go over that line and send out an electrical Im uh, impulse to turn it on and off. It's also going to come with all the fittings here, our on-off switch as well, or our diverter, and a line of air tubing. It's going to be 13 feet of air tube, and then also 13 feet of cable. Our actual unit measures 7 and 7 eighths inches long, 7 and 8 inch tall, going from the top edge to the bottom, not counting the tabs for mounting, and then it's about 2 and a half inches thick. Those mounting tabs are about eight and about eight and three quarter or eight and five eighths inches apart, top to bottom. And the actual mounting holes is a slotted hole at the top, but it's about eight inches, between eight inches and eight and a quarter. And then going the other direction, they're spaced apart by about five and a half inches, and then the actual mounting holes themselves are about four and three quarter inches apart, center to center. Again, this uses 12 volt DC power. The max pressure for it is 15 PSI. There is another unit that I just revealed to you um, that's gonna use the 120 volt AC power, so if you'd rather use that, that is also available using that part number you see on the screen. So have a couple options as far as how to power this guy. Kind of depends on your setup for your vehicle. If you don't have AC power, then using DC is going to be a great option. Also comes with a little anti-splash towel. It's basically just a hand towel to help keep things dry while you're getting everything connected or draining everything out and some other connectors. This is gonna be the hardware to actually mount the unit and then a couple of worm clamp, worm clamps there and um, one zip tie. This does have a one year warranty as well. So I think this is gonna be a really nice option for cleaning out those water lines, making sure that everything stays nice and sterilized or nice and clean while we're using it. So that way we don't have any weird aftertaste for our water, keeps everything working well and maintains those lines for many years to come. One last thing I also wanna mention, this DC cable does also have a fuse in line and it comes with a 15 amp fuse. Yeah, 15 amp fuse to make sure that there's no overloads with that. Well, that's going to do it for my video. I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is going to be the right system for you. Again, there is that AC power one available if you'd rather plug it into an AC power if you have that available. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.